F O C U S. Now you've heard the word before, but why did I spell it out piece by piece? My name is Benjamin J. Harvey, and welcome to this month's video newsletter. So recently we surveyed our entire database, and as you could probably imagine, we got some incredible information sent back from them. We asked them about a whole range of things. In fact, you probably received the survey. We wanted to know about what you, know, you desire in life, what sort of things, how you like to learn, what's inspiring to you, et cetera, et cetera. Now, one of the most fascinating things that we got back after collating all of the research from thousands of people's responses was a very, underestimated skill that people often miss. And it was the skill of time management and productivity. In fact, we got comment after comment after comment of people saying, Ben, I can't manage my time. Ben, I'm always running out of time. Ben, I'm always stressed out. I've got too many tasks. I, get, I procrastinate. I get stuck. I get frustrated. I can't move forward. Comment after comment. Now, here's the thing. All of that comes down to one simple word, and that is focus. Now, what does FOCUS really stand for? Well, I heard a great acronym the other day, and that's really what we're gonna talk about here during this newsletter. FOCUS stands for follow one course until successful. Follow one course until successful. Now, here's the thing, people do have a focus issue. They get distracted all the time. In fact, more and more, thanks to social media and the way that we're programmed to look on computers and whatnot, our attention span is getting shorter and shorter. In fact, the attention economy is shrinking every single moment. In fact, we have less and less attention for everything these days. So that means that we have to start to work us out, work, work us? We start, <laughs> it's a brand new word, by the way. You might wanna look that up in the Oxford Dictionary. I just created it, give me a few weeks to get it in there. But what you wanna do is you wanna learn how to focus. You wanna exercise your focus muscle. Now here's the thing, I wanna look at it from different perspectives. From a year to year perspective, from a month to month perspective, and from a day to day perspective. So what can we do year to year? Well, here's the thing, if you're gonna start a big project, my advice is just start one big project. Now the reason being is because when you start to look at projects and the compounding interest effect, you'll start to realize that your attention compounds the more things you throw at it. Let me show you in a very simple diagram how that all actually takes place. Now let's just say, for example, you're working on a project and this project takes a total of three months to complete it, that's it. So it's a three month project and that's all it takes to complete the project. If you do this and no other project whatsoever, just one project, in three months from now, you'll have completed the project, you'll get a big tick, congratulations. But let's have a look. If you start two projects and they're both three months long, at the three month mark, you will not have completed anything. And it'll take up to six months before you get a result in any of the two projects. Now what this means is if you think in your mind that you want to do a three month project, but you start two at the same time, and you don't see a result for like, I don't know, three, four, maybe five months, you'll get disheartened, you get demotivated, and you'll think that you're being unsuccessful. But if you just focused on one project at a time, you would have seen a result within three months. Now, obviously, if you can do the mathematics, if you start three projects, and they're all three months each, not one of these three projects will show you a result until the nine month mark. That means at the six month mark, you won't have a result, and at the three month mark, you won't have a result. And obviously you can see that this will begin to start to lose your motivation. So from a year to year basis, my advice is if you're starting a business, start a business. Don't do share trading on the side or eBooks on the side or um, I don't know, rent to buys on the side. If you're gonna start a business selling uh, cakes in a cake shop, then just focus on that. If you're gonna start a business being a coach, just focus on that. Because if you focus on that, based on the law of compound energy, you're gonna get a result much faster than if you start two projects at the same time. The reason being is we can only ever focus on one thing at a time. We may be able to focus on a lot of one things at a time and spread our attention across many objects, but at any given moment, we're only focusing on one thing. And this is why it is so dangerous to SMS while you're driving, because you can't focus on the road while you're SMS. If you extrapolate that over big projects, you can start to see the compounding effect of that. Now the second thing we've got to look at, we've got to look at month to month and how do we focus month to month. Now this is where we learn to get rid of bright shiny objects. So you might be working on a certain goal, a three month project or a 12 month project, but month to month you're hitting all these bright shiny objects. You turn on the television and lo and behold there's something on the block and you think to yourself, you know what? 
I'm gonna renovate my house as well as starting up my cake shop business. I'm gonna renovate my house as well as going through whatever other goal I'm chasing right now. My advice is month to month, learn to remove all of the bright, shiny objects because these distractions will just add more and more time to the projects you're looking to create and certainly to get fulfillment out of. Now, day to day, what do we do? Well, day to day, we've got to look for things called open loops. <clears throat> Every day we've got things happening and we need to look at how to break down the differences and make sure that we complete tasks in the here and now. I'll give you an example. Let's just say you're on the telephone and you say to someone, you know what, I'll shoot you an email. And you hang that phone up, but rather than sending the email, you go off and do something else. You've now opened up a loop inside your mind that says sometime today I've got to send this email, which means I'm gonna to have to think about it for the rest of the day. And while you're holding on to that task in the back of your mind, you are in fact gonna burn through energy you could be using to focus on the task at hand. So make sure you close the loop. If you say you're gonna send an email, send it straight away. If you say you're gonna call someone back, call them then. Make sure you have no open loops being created day in, day out, because these open loops compound into a task list that really is never ending. Now, there are strategies and techniques you can utilize. These are just a few very, very basic ones. But if you are wanting to find more ability or, or more strategies around how to get more focused and how to become more productive in your day, for a very limited number of people, we have the opportunity right now for you to book in for a complimentary strategy session. Now, these are valued anywhere between $200 to $450. But if you would like one absolutely complimentary, just down below, you can click the links and actually register for one of these complimentary sessions. As I said, we're only offering a few of them, and it's first in best dressed, so make sure you jump in and grab yours. During this session, we'll spend about half an hour to an hour with you showing you some productivity strategies, some techniques about how to get better time management happening in your life. In fact, I just want to read you something that one of our clients um, once said. They, they, listen to this. One, one person who actually went to the survey said this, I feel productivity and time management is a place where masters say you need to improve in the area, yet I haven't seen a system in place that I could follow to implement. So not only are people aware that productivity is important, but they're not able to find the right strategies around doing so. Thankfully for you and I, we've created an incredible amount of systems just around this single topic. So if you like one of those complimentary discovery sessions, my advice is put your details in right away and we call you up and run you through one of these productivity strategy sessions at the convenience of a time that suits you. I hope you enjoyed this newsletter and until we meet again, share your light, live your love and do whatever it takes to be your own best friend. I'll see you soon. Thank you.